I hardly ever hear WJHR 15555 USB from Milton, Florida. Mark Cody in the Ontario Dix Association reports it, however, November 17th at 1424 with an American preacher. Poor to fair at best with deep fading. And Mark says the following. I wonder just how many of their customers realize they've been hoodwinked and sold a useless bill of goods when you consider how much of their audience have cheap receivers that don't decode SSB. Then again, maybe they're just interested in tax deduction generated by business expenses. Another interesting tidbit is that I can't find any information on them on the net. There's no website, but plenty of loggings and recordings by DXers. Maybe they are just happy hoodwinking, for they have already and don't actively seek broadcasting partners. It must be nice to have a business that is thriving so well that no advertising is required or wanted. Well, I'm afraid Mark has made some assumptions which appear to be incorrect. It would pay to read every line of a World Radio TV handbook. The old 2018 edition does show a website for WJHR. However, it doesn't work for me. Maybe Mark also tried it. It originates at Calvary Baptist Church in Milton, Florida. Note this. WRTH says that instead of the licensed 50 kilowatts, that is just a future plan. They're really running only 250 watts on a transmitter at 1 kilowatt PEP. And that I could believe. As for a lack of advertising of business hoodwinking customers, that is all inapplicable since it exists only as a post-mortem tribute to dead gospel huckster John Hill and allegedly plays no other preacher, only stuff from his tape library. So anyhow, if that power info is correct, there is an example of how you can get to be an international shortwave broadcaster in the U.S. without really having a 50-kilowatt transmitter, only plan to have one. Mark Cody and I are also simultaneously something by coincidence on 11820.